What's up, everybody? It's your boy Big Poppy JT, and I'm coming at you with another video. I'm coming at you with my Miami Hurricanes basketball 28-2019 preview. Going to be previewing the 2018-2019 Miami Hurricanes squad. Um, I'm not just doing this for the Miami Hurricanes. I'm going to be doing this for several other teams until the season kicks off somewhere in November. So I'm going to be doing a few other teams. So make sure to like the video, comment and subscribe. I'm going to be uploading a lot of the college basketball videos this year. So make sure to subscribe if you love college basketball. So let's get into it. So let's recap the 2017 and 2018 season real quick. So the Miami Hurricanes finished 22 and 10. They were 11 and 7 in the ACC. Um, and they ended their season surprisingly losing to what would be the Cinderella team of the tournament in Loyola, Chicago, in the round of 64. And that was a pretty good Miami team that they had last year. And they're losing a lot of key guys, um, Bruce Brown, uh, Lonnie Walker. So a lot of key guys there. But let's look at the team. Let's look at the guard play, which was the which they have a lot of guards on their team. They have six guards. They have Willie Herrington, who is a walk-on, um, he just walked on this season. He averaged 17.2 points per game, 1.8 steals per game, and he shot 51% from the field, and he has an 80% free throw percentage all his senior year in high school. Also, in his senior year of high school, he was selected to the first team all-area team. So this is Willie, Willie Herrington. I think I'm really looking forward to what he has to offer. Um, he was a very, very intriguing walk on. So I'm eager to see what he has. Next up, we have the Florida Gulf Coast transfer, the red shirt senior, Zach Johnson. Um, during the 2016 2017 season for Florida Gulf Coast, he was all sun first team and he was also selected to the all sun tournament team. He was fourth in Florida Gulf Coast history in all time scoring, scoring 1,334 points. He also led the team with 69 three pointers that season. He had 16.9 points per game, shooting 52% from the field. And he also had 3.1 assists. And he also averaged 25 points per game in the A-Sun tournament. Next up, we have the 6'7 combo guard, Anthony Lawrence II, who is a returning senior. He averaged 8.8 .8 points per game, 6.5 rebounds, and 2.3 assists. And he also had 1.4 steals. And he has proved a lot in the all, se all season when it came to his three-point shooting. So I expect a lot out of him. I expect him to be playing small forward this year and starting. And next up, this is he's a really, really key player, Chris Likes. He's a sophomore. He averaged 9.6 points per game, 2.3 assists, and he shot 72% from the free throw line. He's also an ACC All-Academic. He was named to the All-Academic team. And if you guys didn't know, Chris Likes was a very, very highly recruited player that Miami got last year, along with Lonnie Walker. He was a former ESPN Top 100 player. He was ranked 45th. Um, he was the 2017 D.C. State Athletic Association MVP. He also in 2016 was Gatorade Player of the Year for Washington, D.C. Now, getting down to our last two guards that the Miami Hurricanes have on their team. They have Anthony Mack, the redshirt freshman who will play this year because he didn't play last year for Wyoming because of concussion issues. He averaged 26 points per game his senior year in high school. And he also received several offers from Georgia, Villanova, and Missouri. And he was a three-star recruit. He was also an all-state selection for the state of New Jersey. Now, our last guard that we have on our team is, I'm trying to pronounce his name right, the John Vellis. Jevic. He's a junior. He averaged 9.9 .9 points per game. He had 2.5 rebounds per game and he shot 41.1% from the three point line, which led the ACC. Now let's get to our fours that we have on our team. We have Dan Gack, the red shirt freshman who sat out last year. He's six foot ten. He was a 2017 Jordan Brand Classic regional team player. He was ranked number 91 in the ESPN Top 100. He six he was 16 at his position. He chose Miami over having offers from Florida, Kansas, and Kentucky. And lastly, we need to get to Jawan. Hernandez, who was formerly named as Deron Hero, he changed his last name in honor of his mother. 
and he's probably the key player who we need to watch for this Miami Hurricane team. He's probably going to be the centerpiece of the Miami Hurricanes offense. Um, he averaged 11.4 points per game last year on 6.6 .6 rebounds per game, which was 14th in the ACC. He also had five double doubles. So we need a big year out of him. And we have Sam Wardenberg. He averaged 3.3 points per game, 2.8 rebounds per game. He also shot 43.8% from three-point range and we need a big year out of him because he's a big man that can shoot the three and believe it or not this is actually a pretty good three-point shooting team and we need a big that can stretch the floor because our problem last year was shooting threes we shot threes in clutch moments when we needed them but if we want to be good this season we need to be able to spread the floor a little bit more and i believe sam wardenberg is going to bring that to us this year um for center we have obuku uzudu He's a senior, he averaged five points per game, 3.8 rebounds per game, and he shot 69.2% from the field. And we have returning player Rodney Miller Jr., who is a junior, he averaged 1.1 points per game and a half of a rebound. So that's the Miami team. Um, here's my projected starting five. Um, I had Chris Light starting at point guard just because I feel we have scores on the team, but I feel he's probably going to be the point guard because Jim Laranega likes point guards who are good at creating plays for our other players on the team. Um, Chris Likes is a very good passer. He can also get points in the paint. Um, he's improving as a shooter. He has been working on his jump shot a lot this offseason. I feel he needs to be a little bit better when it comes to um, – shooting three-pointers because he wasn't really that good last year although he was a good three-point shooter in high school we have zach johnson who i'm very very excited to see um the transfer from florida gulf coast um at small four we have anthony the second um he's a six seven guard but he's probably gonna be playing small four just because he's good at handling the ball and he's a pretty good three-point shooter. I think he might be the second best three-point shooter we have on the team. At power four, we had Dan Gak, who's red-shirted last year, so he could work on improving his technique at playing the power four position. So I expect him to be starting because he's very, very talented. And at center, we have Dewan Hernandez, who is a returning player. He's probably our key player that everybody needs to circle. Um, because our offense is going to run through him and we're going to win games with him so he's going to be our feature player on offense and he's going to have to have a very very solid season to help us win games and help us compete in this very very brutal acc conference now last i have my 2018 2019 record prediction i have us going 9 and 12. um we have a very very tough and conference schedule we have a very very light out of conference schedule to get us ready for this grueling acc schedule and i have us going 19 and 12 which is which should be good enough to get us into the ncaa tournament um i have a feeling we're going to get some big wins in the acc i think we might be able to win one game against duke which will be very very pivotal so i have us going 19 and 12 that seems reasonable let me know what you guys think about the miami hurricanes basketball team how good will we be this year how many games will we win make sure to like the video comment subscribe and 